Welcome to part 7 of the series on business process automation. This time we talk about the client-server relationship for the robotic process automation system and the business process automation system. In our last example we had four robotic process automation tasks. Customer exists, company exists, create company and create customer. But how do the business process management system and the robotic process automation system interact here? Who is the client and who is the server? Who has the active part and who is passive? Well, let's take a closer look. Let's first talk about the solution where the robotic process automation system acts as a server. So, we have our business process management system here. And our robotic process automation system. And we have our customer relationship management system. In our business process management system, we have a workflow and somewhere in the workflow there is a task. And in this task, in the case of YAL, we have a Java codelet. In other business process management systems, there may be other solutions. In this case, this is an automated task and the Java codelet is given parameters from this automated task and then the Java codelet can just execute any Java code that we program. And in particular, it can start a robot in the robotic process automation system. And it does that using the API of the robotic process automation system. So the first step is start a robot. When the robot is started, it then creates a customer in the customer relationship management system. So this is the first scenario and of course after it has completed this action then some kind of value can be returned to the Java codelet and we can see if this has been successful or not. And there can be all kinds of error handling here in the Java classes with all the known mechanisms. Now let's look at the robotic process automation system as a client. Again, we have our business process management system. And our robotic process automation system. And our customer relationship management system.
This time the RPA system has the active part. So the first thing is that we fetch a work item from the business process management system. Then in the second step, the robot creates a customer in the customer relationship management system. In the third step, the robot completes the work item in the business process management system. Which solution is better? I'd like to know your opinion. Which solution is easier? Well, in the robotic process automation server solution, we need to know how to write Java codelets, access the API of the robotic process automation system and write scripts for the robot. In the robotic process automation client solution, we need to know how to write scripts for robots. That's all. In the next video, this is the topic. We will talk about how to have the robotic process automation system as a client for the business process management system. See you later.